Hey guys, this is Abdul again and in this video I'll walk you through the installation of 40 proxy on VMware ESXi. So let's get started. So I'll go ahead and create or register a VM. I have the OVF file uh, for the 40 proxy and I'll go ahead and name it as 40 proxy. Select the files and then I will go ahead and so usually you just select um, the data drive, VM, the VMDK and OVF file. Um, so I'll go ahead and do next. This is the data store that I want to install it in. Uh, license agreement. Um, I don't think I'll keep it to the default, but I will probably change those uh, LAN settings. But for now. Um, I'll stick them into the default ones. Go ahead and do next. Um, I don't want to configure any additional settings. Um, I'll configure them once I run the machine. So I'll do next, ready to complete. Uh, it says the required disk image was missing. I did select the disk image though. Go ahead and do finish. We'll wait for the image or the 40 proxy to be uh, successfully deployed. Here we go. I think it's 40 proxy successfully imported. So I'll go ahead and select the proxy. Seems like it's still loading something. So let me see. So I uploaded the disk. Successful. I'm just going to give it. Uh, a few seconds. All right, so the Vortigate is up and uh, the Foley proxy, sorry, is up and running right now. So no password for the default. I'll give a password here. All right, so we'll do get system status. And this is the 40 proxy VM, as you can see here. So just to let you know, a lot of things are similar between uh, the 40 gate um, and the 40 proxy. So they have a lot of um, similar uh, things. The A lot of the command lines are uh, similar, but for sure 40 proxy have some features that 40 gate doesn't have and vice versa. So. Uh, for the test image or for the image without a license, you will get only a couple of days. So let's say today is 15th. This is going to expire on 21st. So we have until 21st for that. So uh, in this video, I'm just going to walk you through. Uh, so we're just going to, uh, the, the 40 proxy is up and running right now. Um, I'm just going to make sure that uh, we have a GUI access. So let me check the interfaces for the default setting so there is no interface configured now so I'm gonna go ahead and so let's see here in the setting on the VMware ESXi so the network setting here is assigned to all interfaces to LAN group which is fine my main interface is the LAN port group so let me go to the interface config system interface and see if it's configured to DHCP or not and I'll do it at port 1. So port 1 should be equivalent, I believe, to this port. Uh, network adapter 1. MAC address ends by D71D. So let's see. Uh, I'll do get some MAC address. Let's look for the MAC address. Should be at the bottom. So D71D. So yeah, this is the right port. Uh, set mode. DHCP. Uh, let me do set status down and config system interface, edit port 1, set status up. So I'll do show DHCP. Okay, so let's see now if it's going to try to uh, get an IP address from the SXI. It 
should try to grab an IP address. Here you go. So the IP address. So my subnet is 192.168.1.0, which is the same subnet as my home network. And the VMware SXI adapter is grabbing an IP address from the same uh, home network that my laptop is on. So if I check my laptop here, It is in the, so the adapter is in the one network. So both the SXI server and my laptop connected the same switch. So now we'll try to access the uh, Foley proxy. So we want to make sure that your laptop or your home network is in the same network or at least the ESXi server is if it's in different network, you need to make sure that it's reachable from your um, laptop, all right? So now that the uh, 40 proxy got a DHCP, we can still assign a static IP address if you'd like. So config system interface, edit port one, and then you do, if we do show, um, we configured mode DHCP, we can do set mode static i'm not going to change that and after that we can do set ip and give the ip address and subnet mask and then we do end but for me i would like to keep it to dhcp so now it's on dhcp i'm going to go ahead and access the uh, 40 proxy 192.168.1.77 again if you want to know the ip address you can just do diagnose ip address list this is going to list you the interfaces configured with an ip address so we'll access the 40 proxy with the credential we configured. And as you can see, the virtual machine is not licensed. Uh, it's just a violation license. If you would like to license the 40 proxy, you will need to get in touch with Fortinet support, uh, support at fortinet.com, um, through going to the link support at fortinet.com. And uh, this evaluation license is until December 21st. As per for the image, for the VMware image, if you would like to have the VMware image, I can um, share it with you if you get in touch with me. But if you want to get the license, you'll have to get in touch with the Fortinet support. Uh, this is the 40 proxy. It's very similar to a lot of similarities to 40 gate, but there are a lot of features that are included in the 40 proxy, um, like content analysis um, that you have, web access authentication, uh, caching, web caching, um, and other features, and vice versa. Some features in the 40 gate not included in the 40 proxy, but if I would summarize it, the 40 proxy is um, same as 40 gate, but it's with a bigger disk um, that gives it the capability of doing the web cache. But also, of course, a um, lot of other features. So we'll go through um, some of the uh, features of 40 proxy um, and we'll do a lab about them as well so you would have better understanding of how each feature would work so thanks guys for viewing the video um, hope you like the content and stay tuned for my um, future videos also don't forget to like and subscribe uh, have a good one